In today's video, I will talk about the island of Socotra and why it's worth visiting. Socotra is an island of the Republic of Yemen in the Indian Ocean. The island is isolated and home to a high number of endemic species. Up to a third of its plant life is endemic. It has been described as the most alien-looking place on Earth. In 2008, Socotra was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lying between the Guardafu Channel and the Arabian Sea, and near major shipping routes, Socotra is the largest of the four islands in the Socotra archipelago. The island of Socotra represents around 95% of the landmass of the Socotra archipelago. It lies 380 kilometers south of the Arabian Peninsula, but is considered to be part of Africa. The island measures 132 kilometers in length and 50 kilometers in width. Socotra is one of the most isolated landforms on Earth of continental origin. The archipelago was once part of the supercontinent of Gondwana and detached during the Miocene epoch in the same set of rifting events that opened the Gulf of Aden to the northwest. island has three geographical terrains, the narrow coastal plains, a limestone plateau with karst topography and the Hajir mountains, which rise to 1,503 meters. The climate of Socotra is classified as a hot desert climate bordering on a semi-desert climate with a mean annual temperature over 25 degrees Celsius. Yearly rainfall is light but is fairly spread throughout the year. Socotra is considered the jewel of biodiversity in the Arabian Sea. In the 1990s, a team of United Nations biologists conducted a survey of the archipelago's flora and fauna. They counted nearly 700 endemic species found nowhere else on Earth. geological isolation of the Socotra archipelago and its fierce heat and drought have combined to create a unique and spectacular endemic flora. Botanical field surveys indicate that 307 out of the 825 or 37% of the plant species on Socotra are endemic. The 
Cocotra Dragon trees are one of the main attractions on the island. These umbrella-shaped trees get their name after the blood-like color of the red sap that the trees produce. During your exploration of Socotra, you can also descend underground. There are many caves on the island because of the abundant presence of limestone. Dogup Cave is located on the southern shore behind the Nugget Dunes. This cave can be easily reached by car. At the entrance, you will find pure water. Due to the presence of water, the cave is the habitat of many different animals. Interesting attraction on the island is the Wadi Dirhur Canyon, located on the Dixan Plateau. Over the 2000 years of human settlement on the islands, the environment has slowly but continuously changed and the animals and plants that remain represent a degraded fraction of what once existed. In the 1st century AD, the island still had crocodiles and large lizards, but the present reptilian fauna appears to be greatly diminished since that time. Until a few centuries ago, there were rivers and wetlands on the island, greater stocks of the endemic trees and abundant pasture. The Portuguese recorded the presence of water buffaloes in the early 17th century. Now there are sand gullies, place of rivers, and many native plants survive only where there is great moisture or protection from roaming livestock. The remaining Socotran fauna is greatly threatened by goats and other introduced species. The ideal time to visit Socotra is from October to April. The remaining months usually have heavy monsoon rainfall, making it difficult to survive the weather for tourists and flights also usually get cancelled. The island lacks any well-established hotels, although there are a few guest houses for the travelers to stay during their short visits. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting things about Socotra that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.